What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to On The Bench with Pete, the series you put on in the background as your hobby you're painting along with me. And I'm on my Zombicide Invader journey. Yeah, baby. And the bench is looking quite good at the moment because I've done something rather good. Before we get there though, if you want a hobby or paint along with me, I'll be droning on about life, the universe, and everything else in between, and maybe some hobby stuff even. Um, get yourself a drink, you know, uh, models, paints, glues, whatever you need, and just settle yourself down, because we've got about an hour of hobby ahead. Right, let's get to it. Well, here we are, look. I've got some Xenos, some little, I call these, do you know these little ones? I call them gribblies, that's what I call them. Let me just sort the focus out here momentarily. Just bear with me a second. Yeah. Yeah, so this is what I'm going to be working on. Little gribblies. Um, now, I do remember, so I've only done two stages of them so far, really. Um, rack our flesh, which is what I want to do. And Caribou Crimson over the top. So that's... That is what I've done. So I've got three pots of Rakar Flesh. All at various stages of um, usage. Now I've not long airbrushed these dudes. Now I've got them in the same sort of descending... Well, the same sort of order as to where they go away in their um, miniature holder, case holder thing. I'm going to use some retarder by the way in my palette. My palette. Let's turn this chatty page of my palette over. So it just looks nicer. Right. Shake yourself a bit. I've got some coffee. Oh yeah, Billy. Ah. Mmm. Perfect. Just right. And just what the doctor ordered. Ooh, there we go. Alright, so we'll gloop some rack our flesh into my palette. Now this is what on the bench was made for. Production line. I've got a drop of retarder in there as well. Fluid retarder, right. Now I don't want to just splodge it everywhere because I don't, I don't want paint going flying. So I'm going to use my Game of Regiment brush. I did contemplate airbrushing the base paints. I did, I want you to know that. And although I thought it would be a quite of a good idea because I don't have Rakar flesh as a airbrush paint I could thin it down obviously or I could use like an ivory or other or use shabti bone air and it would give variations to their skin tone which is kind of cool but in the end I decided that was just too much of a cop out so yeah so we are going with rack our flesh brushed on by hand as I was going to do always anyway. Now I'm rather pleased with my tanks, the two tanks, uh, Xenos tanks, not tanks with guns and tracks, because um, they're coming on rather nicely, they're cool tanks, I won't pick them up because they're wet, <clears throat> but um, yeah, they're coming on really nice. I'm kind of experimenting with them, I don't, I want, even these guys, I'd like them to be a little bit individual, but at a glance, to look identical. Because they're just gribblies. I imagine these will just be like cannon fodder, they'll be off the table or the, the board as soon as they're on it, pretty much. But then that said, a Zombicide Invader does not reward gun-happy um, players it would seem, it would seem that it racks up the difficulty level quite quickly 
in this game even compared to the um the classic zombicide so i i you know i can't speak from experience on that point at least not yet um so yeah Sorry, i'm super looking forward to it but i just i i had to get these guys airbrushed with the primer I thought I've got to do something to try and speed things up a little bit. I did say I'm not going to rush them, and I'm not, not for, not, not at all. But when you get in the zone and you just start enjoying what you're doing, it's difficult. It's difficult because uh, you know you can you can get through stuff quite quickly. Then yeah, I'm going to have a fairly decent coverage on his uh, skin yeah I'm liking that that's pretty good so I'm not overly sure of where I'm going next with these guys you know once I've got to the same stage as the first ones which were the templates really uh, not not entirely 100% sure I think I'd like to do spend some time on the the strut i mean you could say you would call it hair but it's not it's more like mini tentacles i want to do them kind of different colors on all of them well to vary a bit anyway like i want blues and greens and reds and yellows and yeah that's what i want that's what i would like to do Oh, I'm so, this has got to be like the best gift I've had in a long time, you know, this, my birthday gift, oh man, I, you know, my friends know me well, but one in particular, he went the extra mile, let's just put it that way, <laughs> and my wife and daughter all clubbed together to get me this. Oh yeah, it's not dear by uh, some uh, game and model standards, but it's not something you just you know offhandly buy. Looking back on it, we had a bit of talk about Zombicide as well, different things, you know. I I, I suppose I did. I must have mentioned the because I had my eye on. I, I. The, just looking wistfully, window shopping, I guess you call it. And um, say, what's that? Different news because my wife and my daughter they both like Zombicide, and my friend um, like all like a bit of Zombicide, it would seem. So, yeah. So the least I can do is get a game when it's all ready for all of us to play. I'm looking forward to going running through the tutorial. Because that's always fun to do. Like I, said, I'm not, I don't want to rush these figures. But at the same time, I do want to get playing. <laughs> now I know for some people, they, they won't even bother painting miniatures and that's fine that's absolutely fine but for me it just makes it more atmospheric a bit like mansions of madness you know it's more atmospheric when they got the, the miniatures all painted up let's get around to playing that again that's some time I, I had a go at it the rules are quite complex on that game they well Maybe they're not, but the Fantasy Flight rulebook is not my favourite, let's put it that way. Whereas the rules in this, Zombicide, are just brilliant. I've read through them already, I shall be reading through them again, of course. And again and again, I expect, but uh, yeah, you know, all good. 
I am such a lucky guy. To have wonderful family and friends like I do. Don't think they'll ever watch the video, but thanks guys, and really, I've thanked them profusely. <laughs> yeah, it makes, uh, and I had a plan in place, and I will go back to that once I finish this, which is like, um, to, well, I mean, I've got miniatures to paint. I've got quite a good shelf of shame as it were and I haven't gone through that in quite some time I might have to do that that make a video as well to see what I got I mean the old school gamers call it their lead mountains <laughs> well, imagine a lead mountain I mine's plastic uh, it's a plastic corner <laughs> Yeah, I got some metal miniatures though. And that um, Chaos dude I started, he's metal. Azrael's metal, and the Watcher in the Dark, metal. Do you know, I, I, when I used to think metal was better than um, plastic, I don't know why I thought that. I was just used to metal miniatures, I guess, and I thought plastic was cheap and nasty. But it isn't so much better. Anyway. I digress. Back when I used to think that. Uh, I thought I'd get my. I'd like to get my hands on a metal Mephiston. Because I had the plastic one. Or the fine cast I believe he was. I can't remember for sure. But I believe he was fine cast. Well, this is jolly. I'm gonna slap my heater on, just momentarily. Just take the edge off the chill. This is this is what I call enjoyable. Yeah, at least I've tidied things up a little bit in here now. <clears throat> tidied away my Zone Mortalis kit for now. See, that's another thing I can get back to once I've done all this. My attention was divided when, you know, as soon as I got this in my hand, I was like, whoa. This is covering quite well. I used Panzer German Panzer Grey as a primer on these, whereas on the ones in the back I used black Vallejo black. Well, I, I felt I wouldn't have enough of that to do all of them, all the miniatures in Zombicide. So, well, the Xenos <coughs> rather. I'll be doing separate videos on the um, the characters too. Because I think in this game, more so even than the original, the classic, there are some brilliant characters. Absolutely brilliant. Some coffee. That was free. Wow. I think once I've done this session, I'll have to go and put tea in. Ah. Right. That's 
five of those done at the back. Next row. So tell me what you're working on, guys. As always, always like to hear that. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit here. Always helps to get a good camera angle. Spoke to my mum earlier, she's doing all right. Which is good, because I worry about her. Um, especially with all the stuff going on in the world lately. Coronavirus panic buying and all this kind of stuff. I just yeah. I'm I mean I'm not worried about it. Um, I do take it seriously, but I'm not certainly not going to panic buy stuff. That's just crazy. Yeah, I do. I think the media are. Let's just say unnecessarily panicking people. I mean, it's okay to be kept informed, but you know they do panic. A lot of vulnerable people out there, elderly and uh, those like myself with compromised immune systems yeah I mean I should be worried but you know at the end of the day um, I can't stop anything you know I can take uh, the measures they suggest or what I kind of do anyway so I live quite a quite a clean lifestyle I think you know I have to with my immune system the way it is but now, of course, everybody's panic buying all the soaps and gels and sanitizers and toilet roll. I don't get that one, but, but yeah, so, you know, I can only do what I can do. Oh, this is coveraging really well. I love it. Yeah. Do you like this? Yes. Uh, I'm starting to feel the heat now for my heater, which is nice. Of course, my work's crazy busy because of all the panic buying. You know. <laughs> nice to have my weekend I always love my weekends so I absolutely love them this stage is great Yeah. <clears throat> oh, um, Duncan Rhodes, formerly of Games Workshop, like, who's now, I meant to mention him by the other day, uh, sat on his own, the Duncan Rhodes Painting Academy. That's uh, kind of what I thought he was going to do, uh, something like along those lines. It's actually Duncan and Roger working the camera and stuff. But yeah. I mean, stuff looks good. Um, another channel to in, 
joy. And uh, I don't know whether he has now or what he was going to do. They're, they're going to be hosting um, videos on their website. Uh, so they're going to be doing that, which is super awesome. And it's going to be um, paid subscription. I think it was three ninety nine or five dollars. I can't remember what he said. It's been a while since I watched the initial video, but um, yeah, and that will get you the. It's kind of going to be like a mini war gaming thing, um, mini war gaming vault situation, kind of like that. And I suspect to be doing other videos as well. He'd be a fool not to. I wish him all the best. I really do. <clears throat> I don't think for one minute he'd be watching my channel, but if he, yeah, uh, suppose he is. Oh, good luck on you, mate. I I really wish you well. Um, because see, Duncan is one of the uh, people I used to watch that taught me the basics of. Uh, what I consider to be my painting skill. The two main people that taught me my painting skills are Duncan Rhodes and Chris Below from um, Way of the Brush, formerly of Mini Wargaming. Two very different painters. Be interesting to see uh, how um, Duncan approaches models now, painting. I liked his uh, Stormtrooper for the Star Wars they did. I liked his taking that, and it's great that he's using other products now, not just Games Workshop ones, which he he has, uh, of course, has the complete freedom to do. So he can use Army Painter and stuff like that, you know, which is great, you know. Because we all, I think, use different products. We don't just stick with one. Or at least I think we do. Actually, there's a question for you guys. Do you stick with one painting product range? Or do you, you know, like myself, have a variety? I think most people would have a variety. But please let me know. Some people, like a lot of the uh, older war gamers. They have a like sometimes they they stick with mostly stick with certain paints. Yeah, you know, like um, foundry or what have you. Um, or Vallejo, Vallejo, however you want to pronounce it. This is the best stage. <laughs> I always say that when I'm painting miniatures. Um, yeah, I've got to work out a basic. Actually, I've, I've, I've come to the conclusion I want to do the rims of the bases in that brown I was using the other day. That cheap for brown. Hang on, I'll grab it for you. Uh, that one there. Maybe even the bottoms of it. I don't know yet though. Yeah, I don't know yet. Definitely the rims though. Still think I'd like a grey uh, base, non-textured. <laughs> so I don't think that would make much sense if you're in indoors to have it textured. Or just do a Mechanica standard grey or an iron hole grey for by P3 on it and see how that looks. I have experimented with the cheaper uh, medium grey from Reeves. You know, in the tube. 
Um, I don't know if I like it or not. I think I'll have a darker grey. end of this lot of paint that's okay and I really don't mind um, the base coat with its skin being blotchy it just makes more individuality as far as I'm concerned and it's a clean up brush out regiment brush awesome I'll just plug my phone in a minute Got quite a bit of charge in it, but I just want to keep it charged up. Ah, it's nice to feel the heat. Um, yeah. So. Back to this. We're almost out of this one. Wreck off the flesh. One drop of retarder. It surprisingly doesn't dry up as quickly as the likes of you Shabti Bone, which really dries out quick, I find. I like to use Rakar Flesh on purity seals for Warhammer. Space Marines and the like. Hmm. Right, we'll look back along this way now. Oh, nearly halfway. Whoa. I'm guessing I won't get these all done in this episode. Sorry. Just trying to get. Another good camera angle here. So, yeah. I want to go and up and see my mum soon, I think. Um, there hasn't been any snow here this year, which is good. Well, we've had, the, it's been, snow, it has had snow on the Dartmoor. So on the moors and the likes of Princetown, but... Nothing here in Plymouth, which, you know, is okay. But it's nice to see, but uh, it causes so many problems for us as a city. We're just so inequipped to deal with it. Um, anyway, what was I going to say? Yeah, so, I mean, in cases of snow being on the way later in the year, you know, it has happened. Nice to go up and see my mum before that happens, in case I can't get there. So, yeah, I'd like to do that. I haven't seen, I haven't, I haven't seen my mum or any of my family, really, for some time. I'd like to see them again. My brother... Oh, my other brother is doing well, by the way. I've got two brothers. Um, the one who had uh, the open heart surgery. He's still having to... He's got to go... He went back for a checkup the other week, actually, to London. Yeah, and that was all okay. He's got to go up again in April, sometime in April, which will be soon. Um... Okay, so we're still in marked at the moment. But yeah. 
So he's doing well. Thanks to everyone that sent well wishes. Appreciate that. He lives in the middle of nowhere in Wales. In like a cottage on a mountainside really. No other word for it. Yeah. Kind of like the good life there, you know, living off the land and so on. Chickens and goats and goodness knows what else he's got. He grows all his own vegetables and stuff. Yeah, it's, <clears throat> it's an ideal life, really. If I I could I could live there. I could combine that with having my hobby. That'd be awesome. Maybe once a week I could go and travel to a a, a city or something and. Uh, use some internet to upload videos and that'd be kind of cool <laughs> uh, I want this really eating through my knees now I, my knees hurt a lot especially when I have to get down to the bottom shelf I still have to do that with the job I've got now not, obviously not as much as when I was doing replen at Sainsbury's but uh, yeah still required those damn bottom shelf items Yeah. So it's very boring, I know, um, probably watching this, but the idea is that you get through some mundane tasks of your own, because this is a mundane task, there's no two ways about it. It's enjoyable though, it's very therapeutic, very, very therapeutic, I have to say. We're over halfway mark. I like to keep these videos to about an hour. <clears throat> I have done shorter ones in the past where you know. Either I've run out of things to talk about, which isn't very often, um, or I've run out of stuff to paint or do, depending on what I'm doing. Or I don't know where I'm going with it, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah these are nice models yeah little infantry models like this that are cannon fodder I always refer to as gribblies especially if they're monsters or zombies or aliens or something and these are super cool because they're alien zombie monsters tick all the boxes Everyone. So from what I've seen, Duncan Rhodes uh, is using a very, very similar format to what they did at Games Workshop. Um...
just changed it enough to get away with it, really. I suspect Duncan just wanted to, initially, just wanted to paint something else other than Games Workshop products, because although they're brilliant, you know, he wants to do other stuff, like historicals. Just enough paint again, which is good. We are definitely not wasting it. Excellent. Ooh, 35 minutes in, and I'm exactly halfway through. Mm. It'd be nice to get them finished, wouldn't it? Oh. <sighs> I might just say stuff it and finish them. I'm not going to be held to time restraints. I don't answer to time. Well, actually, I do. We all do. But that's another, that's more philosophical debate. Wow. Wreck of flesh. It's probably my very first pot and I ever bought of it. But You don't use much of it, not for doing purity seals anyway. Just seeing the paint run. I'll be able to use the ball bearing in one of the other. Uh, pots of wreck our flesh that I've got. That's interesting. <sighs> this is taking valuable time, I know, doing all this. But... Hey. <coughs> Right then, onwards, onwards and upwards. Time, I adjust my position. This is what takes the time. Nice painting position there. I don't have my camera hooked up to my monitor at the moment, not at this angle. I could, but I just haven't. Used to do more without a monitor years ago. Hmm. 
He's looking good, Duncan Rhodes, as well. Do you notice? He doesn't seem to age much, which is good for him. Yeah. Seems pretty ageless. I wonder if it'll do any playthroughs of games as well. Any battle reports? That'll be now. That'll be interesting to see. I bet he get quite a lot of views on that. Like I say, I wish him only the best. I mean, he deserves it. It's well earned. Oh, it does. I do think sometimes though, when people like that, they've earned their. Um, fame we'll call it fame from a previous job set up a youtube channel and they instantly get like thousands of uh, subscribers huh. i sometimes get i feel a bit deflated um not no sour grapes it's just like oh i mean i've worked hard over the years for this channel i really have and whilst I'm grateful to have the support I do get, I, I some people don't seem to have to try for it, you know. It's, oh, it's just circumstances dictated, I guess. But you know what I mean. Like if somebody used to work for Mini War Gaming, naming new names, Chris. <clears throat> And they had a YouTube channel already, but as soon as they leave and, you know, strike out on their own, you know, they get way popular. And it's like, I don't believe you'd have that many subscribers if you, you didn't have your previous job. Of course they wouldn't. Like I say, it's not sour grapes. It's, it's more just deflation on my own part. Like, oh, well, I wish I could do whatever it is that needs to be done to be successful. Depends how you measure success. I don't actually measure it on subscribers, but views I do. I'm aware I don't get a lot of views on my stuff. Um, It's just one of those things, and I've done, I have done different types of video in the past, all different types. Nothing really seems to make much difference, I've tried tweaking all my, like, tag words and things like that. So, I, I, I don't know, end of the day, I don't know. Still. I'm grateful for my loyal fan base. I really am. And I really thank you guys. I really do. So I started all this. When I was diagnosed with MS. With the intention of using it as therapy. To combat my MS. And. 99.999% of the time it works. Absolutely. So that's a success. There are times when I'm not well enough to do anything. That's not a success. Um, but then, yeah, there you go. That's why I'm doing, partly why I'm doing this um, new intro thing on my channel. I'm just going over free playlists each week or... Yeah, it's a week. Three playlists each week, which you should check out and what they're about. Hopefully that'll get a bit of uh, attention. I hope so, anyway. That is my hope. All this changing camera angle, and you, you can't see it anyway that well. Let's zoom back out a bit. Yeah, you can't see it that well anyway. Oh, heat's nice. 
I'm reluctant to turn it off now. <laughs> I've got to book a dental appointment soon to have my teeth scaled and polished. Yeah, now I'll have to do that soon. Yeah, I wonder how many times I'll end up shooting these dudes or killing them with melee. <laughs> different rules for different environments in Zombicide Invader. Because you've got indoors and outdoors. And you can't go outdoors without an oxygen tank. Which is quite interesting, I thought. Certain weapons don't work in the exterior environment. Right, I'll turn my heater off now. It's getting a bit... Warm. It's nicely warm. Yeah, so that's interesting. These are called workers, these gribblies. Ammo is unlimited, I believe, though. There's a story behind that. Where they were, like, kind of stockpiling for trouble. Whereas in Resident Evil, the board game, I believe ammo is very scarce, just like the computer game. Or the video game, rather. It's sending me to sleep actually doing this. It's that relaxing. Not literally sending me to sleep, but making me feel like I could easily fall asleep if I wanted to. <clears throat> yeah, it definitely reminds me of Creature from the Black Lagoon. Got stuff and fried chicken for our tea tonight. Got it at, um, went shopping. And yesterday we had a roast. I did us a roast, which was nice. Nice hearty meal. My wife has a prayer meeting <clears throat> tonight, which she runs uh, in the absence of the <clears throat> <clears throat> person who set it up, which is actually her boss at work. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, excuse me. My throat's getting dry. <clears throat> Does that when I talk 
sometimes too much. <laughs> now we've got to keep going. Got to blast through these. It's only the base coat, so. We can afford to keep going with it, keep going with it. Day goes quick when you're off on, you know, you're not working, there, isn't it? Your day off goes really quick. I mean, not that the day is over, but, you, you know, it is. I'll have to stop soon, put tea on, and, you know, everyone will be home, and that's kind of it, then. from the Black Lagoon. I think I've seen it once, the original. I think it might have been a Hammer House of Horror movie. I'm not sure though. All the movies of that ilk were, I believe. The Mummy. Wolfman, Dracula, Frankenstein. Yeah. paint after this model I'm gonna do some really good games with this though so, the sci-fi uh, you, you know I mean normal classic Zombicide you can go so far I guess you have to kind of start repeating yourself with themes and concepts but this I got a little bit more scope I believe because it's set on another planet see one well, we've colonized obviously or well, we're not colonized yet but we have a space base on be revealed Whew. right keep going keep going push through it Pete come on now you can do it Oh, 
this one's got a ball bearing in as well. That's handy. harder into the mix put the ball bearing in the water because to wash the paint off it just remember it's in there Pete don't be chucking it out on the lawn yeah good point well made I used to talk about the guys I used to work with in Sainsbury's. I I don't know if they still watch my videos. But I don't have to miss working with them. <laughs> All of them. Well, maybe not the ones on the other shift, but um, certainly my shift. Ones used to come in and see. Yeah, they're only youngsters though. I felt more like their dad to be honest. But I do miss working with them, they were fun to work with. Good bunch of lads. Uh, so many things I need to get you know for my hobby like I need new gloves glue brushes <laughs> all in good time I suppose all in good time day will come I think when I'm a bit more well off and I don't have to worry about the stuff so much I want to, I want to be six, more of a success I want to be successful particularly this uh, hobby YouTube thing you know I'd, I'd like to be a bit more successful on that front. Who wouldn't? I have met some of my greatest friends uh, through YouTube though, it has to be said. Some really great people out there. Do -do 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 -do. Incidentally, I'll plug the Patreon side there now. I should do this every video, really. Yeah, I have Patreon. Please check that out if you want to support me that way. Monetarily, of course. You can do one-off payments as well. I have a PayPal uh, link on my homepage. That's always uh, well appreciated. And... Um, yeah, if you subscribe to Patreon for a little, for as little as a dollar a month, 
you will get access to exclusive videos on Patreon. Um, and, of course, they will be ad-free. All the Patreon videos I do are ad-free. I have, I have you know, series on there. I have painting with patrons, which is like this, but it's in HD and um, no ads. And, you know, it can be a little bit more fast-paced. Um, chill with patrons. I've got behind the scenes as well, which is quite funny. You know, well, it can be. Behind the scenes of my life. Um, yeah. All sorts. Yeah, I'd like to grow my channel and um, yeah, I'd, I'd do more. If I if I was able to do this professionally, I this was my main source of income. I'd obviously be able to devote more time to it. I could make more professional and more varied content as well. Not that I can't do that now. It just takes longer. I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of music in videos. You may be noticed, but... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I have videos with music in, obviously. I'm not its hugest fan, though. It's ever since the, all the copyright stuff you know, was happening on YouTube videos are getting taken down the front center and I just you know it's not worth it and let's face it we're not uh, a music hobby that's a different hobby altogether and I've used my own music as well end of the day I just prefer the video Right, yeah. we're over the hour already, and I've still got three models to go after this one. But, you know, you're going to do it, because I've said so. I have said so. We've done 30 gribblies in Rakar Flesh by the time I've finished. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I could have just dry brushed over this colour, you know, with like a grey or something, but no, I like this. I'm going to dry brush after the wash has gone on. There we are, that's him. And they look quite amazing when the wash goes down, I think. And I don't I don't think I'm going to thin the um Carabag crimson down at all. I'm just gonna put it on there. As is. Yeah. 
redder it makes the skin the better as far as I'm concerned I like that these um, miniatures are like all one piece as well What I'm going to have to do, I'm on the lookout for another set of drawers like my rainbow coloured ones. Sadly, I don't think I, there's any more around at the moment. Well, I'm fortunate to have got the four that I have, but I'd like one for miniatures like of this nature, just to keep them in. Zombicide. I might, I've got a couple of spare compartments in the other ones. I'll have to label them, of course, though. Hey, folks, we're on the last one. Hope you appreciate this. Staying to do them all. Because you know it makes sense. I'm going to put the Caribou Crimson Wash on all of them as well. Which won't take as long as this. Just about that, I'll I'll show you what we've done, or what I've done. All right. Oh, I might have to come up with a maybe steel legion drab for the flat of the bases. Because uh, that might work. Anyway, we'll end it here. Thanks very much for joining me on this episode of On the Bench with Pete. Look here, this is what we got done. And zoom in a bit. Uh, you could see them there, yeah. All these, not the back row, because they were already done, but all these 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 miniatures in. Rack off flesh. So, like I say, thanks for joining me. It's been a real pleasure having you along. It's been a real pleasure to do this. I, I love doing these videos. It's what I look forward to all week. Thank you. Thanks for joining me along for the ride. And um, remember, all brushes lead to all. See you on the next video, guys. Bye for now.